Welcome back. Welcome back. Our next guest for the next two hours is Tony. I'm sorry. I just had, had a funny moment here. It's uh, Tony Pantelaresco, and um, his website is augmentenforce.50webs.com and Tony info. He also has a. Um, I'm I'm looking at the chat room, and they're making a lot of funny funny comments. Anyway, um, and I hope that you will will join the chat room, uh, which is spingola.chatango.com. And um, anyway, Tony is one of our favorite guests. Uh, he's always full of vitality and energy and fun. And he does have a YouTube channel. It is youtube.com slash user slash herbs plus bread plus beadworks videos. I'll post that in the chat room. Uh, anyway, um, he was just talking to me a few minutes ago. Uh, so we, uh, you haven't gotten Tony yet? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, he was, he, he Skyped me a few minutes ago, uh, during our time on with, um, Dr. Corsi. And, um, anyway, I was watching a video of his just recently, and, um, it's called Acids, Silver, and Vinegar. And so I want to discuss that with him today. And I also want to talk a little bit about this experience, uh, that I've had with my cable. I, the last two, weeks, the last two Saturdays during the program, the cable has gone down, the internet's gone down, and I had been having some trouble with my telephone, my internet, and the television all going off at the very same time. And so finally, I got around to, I've been, had a lot of stuff going on lately, a lot of stuff on my plate. Anyway, I called the cable company and complained, and I had done this before, and then what they do is they set up an appointment and um, and then they, um, if if something, then they call they call you and say um, if it's if the problem has been resolved, uh, then you can cancel your appointment. Well, uh, the problem was resolved temporarily, and so they came out. They had to totally replace the entire line from the house all the way out to the junction, the whole line, and so everything is working. And everything is uh, doing really well. And we do have Tony with us. Tony, hi. Yes. Hey, what's up? <laughs> well, I was just telling them about um, acids, silver, and vinegar, which I think I probably watched four times. Um, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes repetition, oftentimes repetition <laughs> is um, is very good. It's it's a very good thing, and. Um, Sometimes you have to watch something or listen to something more than once to get get it. And something was very interesting that you said. You said that on June twenty second or you, uh, June twenty second, twenty seventeen, that the CIA purchased Whole Foods for thirteen point seven billion dollars. Then you said uh, that Jeff Bezos of Amazon bought the Washington Post, and that he also bought Whole Foods. And I um, I hate to admit it, but I do do business with Amazon. And I have a love-hate relationship with Amazon. It's so easy to just say, buy, put it in your cart, and have it on your doorstep two days later. But I discovered something quite interesting uh, that I didn't know before. And... Um, when you visit Amazon and you look at your orders, uh, you can click on click on your orders. Then you click on uh, delivery, and then you click on more information. And then you begin to realize that not only is Amazon selling you these products, these many many products, they are also delivering them. Uh, so UPS. Uh, that used to deliver most of everything that that Amazon sold is no longer doing those deliveries. Amazon has hired 
private parties who drive in their private cars and deliver your product. And I'll bet that Amazon is not paying them well and is exploiting people who want to make a little extra money. So the next time that you have some orders, be sure and follow up, check on it, and see exactly who's going to be delivering it. And you will be amazed that Amazon delivers probably 75 to 80% of what they sell. So not only do they own Whole Foods, so they can watch what you're eating. Um, or compromise also, it. <laughs> yes, watch and compromise it. And certainly if, you're, if you shop there, don't use your credit card. Pay cash. Um, well, you know what the problem with Amazon and eBay and all these places are right now? <clears throat> Basically, you're forced to go that route because, I'm, okay, I live in Canada. Now, if I'm looking to buy stuff to develop my technologies or whatever I'm doing, or even if I'm buying raw materials, I am forced to go that route because I can't find it in this country. So I either have to deal with China directly, India, the Philippines, north or south, uh, uh, Vietnam, uh, Europe, or wherever. Or I have to go through Amazon and eBay to find the material. For instance, in the United States, you cannot buy iodine crystals. Your government over there thinks that everybody is going to make some kind of amphetamine. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Okay, That's why, why, that's why they ban ephedrine. Mm -hmm. The real reason why they ban ephedrine and iodine is because they have tremendous benefit for you. But uh. the excuse was everyone was going to make ecstasy. So now... The American citizen is forced to go to Amazon and eBay to buy iodine pearl crystals, either from Argentina, Russia, Switzerland, France, or wherever they can get it from. You have no choice. So this is what they've done. So when we're looking at this whole concept of you know, markets and market values and market shares, I have to spend a lot of money buying stuff from America because in Canada – our government has restricted almost everything that you that's, uh, that has any real significant value or substance. You have to order online because you can't get this stuff here in Canada. What you get here is the the cartoon, kitty land junk that they sell you and make you think you're getting something. Now more and more shops are opening up here, like where I live, where they're getting stuff directly from, from the U.S. or Amazon and other places. So that saves me from having to go and order online. <laughs> so. When we're looking at uh, the, the situation we have here, they're basically bottlenecking everybody to go this route. Eventually, you will not see a, a box store like Walmart. Walmart's losing their backside to Amazon and to eBay, which I'm glad because Walmart is not a, 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 uh, uh, a company that has any real ethics or, or values when it comes to their own workforce. I mean, they're, they're one of the most notorious for, for – abusing their workers. I, I know firsthand because I've had uh, some experience with them. But when you're looking at uh, what is happening today in the marketplace, it's becoming too expensive to run a store for the rents, for the, for the power, whatever. It's easy for me to run an outlet out of a room in my bedroom, for instance, have you take, take your order, write the order up, order it from Amazon, have it delivered to your home if I can do it. If I have to put it together, then I have to bring the materials to me, I put it together, and then I ship it. But that's where it's going, and that's the unfortunate reality uh, of what we're dealing with today, and that's how it is. So the consumer now is being um, handcuffed. You need a tool. You need a uh, raw material to manufacture something. Excuse me, do you need, some, you need a material to fabricate something? Uh, do you need a uh, uh, certain gauge wire or material? I had to, first I bought some copper balls. I can't find copper, pure copper balls anywhere here where I live. I had to go online to buy them. You know, mm. that's the unfortunate reality. I went to buy brass balls. I can't buy brass balls here in Canada, for crying out loud. So I have to, you know, uh, Order, I have to order them through Amazon or eBay. So, like I said, this is the problem that we're dealing with. Okay, you want to buy lead, want to buy lead powder to, put to, to mix in your paint so you can paint your house with lead to block 5G. Well, go try to find lead powder in the United States. The only place you're going to find that is at a golf supply company that supplies lead powder for, <clears throat> for golf hobbyists 
to make the lead weight for their golf club. Other than that, and that can cost you a small fortune. Now, I can go buy a pound of lead powder on eBay for about 15 bucks. That's cheap, okay, because you need about 14 ounces per gallon to, to uh, uh, mix in the paint to paint your house to block these frequencies from taking you out. So this is what I'm saying. It's very difficult for you as a, as a consumer if you're really doing things that – I mean, if you're the normal person that gets up in the morning and you go to Walmart to buy a dress or a bar of soap or whatever, you know, the, the normal stuff, you'll find it anywhere. And everybody's competing for your, you know, to sell you toilet paper on sale or milk on sale or, you know, soap on sale, whatever, you know. But let's mm -hmm. say you're trying to do something, uh, you know, you're a hobbyist, you're trying to build something. A lot of times you have to fabricate uh, the materials because you can't, it's not out there for you to buy. So you have to put it together yourself, you have to construct it yourself, you have to develop it yourself. And so as a result, you got <laughs> now you're shopping around to find the materials you need to do this. So it's, it's, that's the reality of today. <clears throat> Even your food, think about this for a minute. You can, you can buy, Whole Foods a joke and it has always been a joke. They've never had anything really healthy. They got popped. I was, doing an, I was doing a show on another network, and I told a guy there that uh, Whole Foods has, has not been selling organics like everybody thought they were. They were, they were misleading the, popul the general population or general public in their, in their sales. They had the signs that they had up there were calling natural foods. So everybody was assuming, and this is how they, they had this word game. They were assuming that... The food, because it said natural, was organic and wasn't true at all. A lot of the meats that they, that they were selling, they were being fed GMO corn. A lot of the poultry that was being sold, there was being fed GMO corn, GMO wheat, GMO soy, whatever. So it was a lot of baloney that they were pr propagating. And, you know, and as far as the organics goes, that's a myth today, if anything. You, you're not going to get an organic anything today with the way our environment has become so toxic with chemtrails and uh, frequency towers and the blow by from GMOs, pollen being spread, and God knows, oh, and then how they're they're spraying atrazine and nano silver in the fields and everything else. So we're we're in the situation now. You want to you want real organic food? Grow a garden, put, get a greenhouse, grow an indoor um, uh, vertical garden. That's the only organic you're going to see in this in in this life today. You know, so wow. when you're when you're looking at these so-called or what I call the orgasmically organic because you I get, know you always have to throw that in. Well, because people get excited when you hear the word organic. Oh, go, oh okay. Oh, oh, and oh. all that stuff. So okay. I'm, I'm I'm assuming they're having one of those moments. Oh, here. okay. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> well, that's true. Have you ever have you ever talked to a vegan? And you get uh, and yes. they get all and they I, get all I, excited I, about organic. Oh, oh and I'm thinking, are these people you know nuts or what? <laughs> I almost talked to a vegan, <laughs> but she canceled on me a half hour before because she didn't like some of my politics. But she was a very, very sick vegan. Her name yeah, was. They, uh, they all are. They all Lier are. That's the thing. <laughs> Lier Keys was her name. Uh, no, they all are. You know, I got one woman that contacted me, and she's listening to a guru I call Tutti Fruity because he's got everybody wanting to be a fruitarian. Then somebody did a video. Actually, two people did two videos, and people, I couldn't believe the stupidity. The two things that are infinitive, the universe and stupidity, and, I, and Einstein wasn't sure about the universe. You know, they put things in the you microwave. You should ask his wife because she's the one. That, she was, yeah, I agree, I agree. She was a genius. He was yes. a moron. She, yes, he was, he a, was a moron guy. who exploited his wife. And, well, according to Tesla, he did do some good things. Exactly what, I don't know. <laughs> but, right, right. Let's elaborate <laughs> on that, Tesla. You know, but anyway, um, they put grapes in a microwave and they sparked. And somebody took the hash browns from a store and they sparked. And then somebody contacted me and they took watermelon slices and they put them in. Now, they said one watermelon sparked like crazy, another one not so much. And one turned wow. So this is the reality. The nano is in the food. Now, well, some people contacted me, and, and, you know, I have this Mediterranean aspect to me. And I wrote to them, and I told them, if you're this stupid, do not understand that chemtrails coming down on your food supply are nanoparticles, okay? 
are angstrom particles because this is another another pile of rubbish now that's going on in this industry because i had a woman contact me the other day and she went and bought this copper product from this company same product that sells this pure sulfur crap and when she asked him if it was nano he said yes he said why didn't you put that on the label because you didn't put it on the label or they overlooked you and kept on going so then he was fighting with her for $25, didn't want to give her back her money because she didn't, this is not what she wanted. Right. But anyway, he started using terms like angstrom units and monatomic and all this stuff because he was trying to show that he, that he had some sort of intellect. He was, he was again mocking her because he was saying the same thing. Ultrafine, nano, monatomic, angstrom are all the same thing. They're nanoparticulates. So if you, are, if you can look up in the sky... And if your brain is still functioning, because some people don't have brain, uh, brain damage these days, and they can't tell the difference between a chemtrail and a contrail. If your brain is still functioning, and, the chem, and you see those lines in the sky, what goes up must come down. And this stuff penetrates and permeates everything you see, including you. So when people are saying, well, I didn't see this happen, I didn't see this happen. Well, there's more than one way to see something come out. You know, we did a we did a video on um, Bye Bye Blue Sky. She's got the videos up on her site where we took a coil and we coiled, uh, we put wine and juices and different things, and you saw the stuff let go. And yet, people still don't get it. It's there. It's right there. And it's and because it's one of those things that if they don't see it in their glass or they don't see it on their plate, they don't believe it. It's okay. It's okay to eat it. <laughs> You know, without neutralizing it, it's okay to eat it. And the vegans are loaded with this metal. And the people that are eating this 2D fruity diet, they're also loaded with this metal. You know, more so than the meat eaters. The meat eaters have it as well, but the animals do filter a lot of this. But you're still going to get it. There's no way around. Everybody's going to get it. So, again, learn neutrality. And I keep telling everybody this. Yes. Um, you... <laughs> That's true. Getting back to the um, the lead paint, I was I had a conversation with Dr. Judy Wood, and um, we were talking about directed energy, and she mentioned the lead paint yep. and why they discontinued the lead paint. It wasn't because little children were eating the walls in tenement. You know, apartments. Come on, when you were a kid, you went to the wall purposely just to get your daily Did not. Of lead. <laughs> Did not. <laughs> I know. I, I agree with her. Remember the um, when you bought those blinds for your windows? You know, they went up and down. If you twirled them, they would flip. You know, where you could open them and close. They were lead lined. They were all lead lined, and they banned them. They got rid of them so that you wouldn't have lead in your home, because they knew bloody well. That when this wow. 5G came along, that that would shield you from what's going on. Now I got something. I got. I'm going to give you a, an exclusive, so, you know, because again, I haven't had to. Well, I, I deserve said an exclusive. I know you do. That's why I'm talking about this. You know, this okay. is one of those orgasmic, organic moments. <laughs> oh, you naughty boy. <laughs> okay, there's nothing naughty about that. Anyway, okay. so, unless, unless you're nuts, then it's okay. Okay, you know, we're talking about the Blue Bean Project. You've heard about the Blue Bean Project, right? Now, we are already in the Blue Bean Project. You don't know this. Your computers, your streetlights, your iPads, your cell phones, uh, even your CFLs and fluorescent lights are all emitting a blue beam. Now, this is causing major mayhem on your brain and on your genetic code. Now, when you're sitting in front of the computer, you know how sometimes you're getting off the computer and you kind of feel half in and half out. You're kind of you're tired, but you... And yeah. you're just sort of all disoriented because your computer is attacking you with the blue beam. Now, how can you protect yourself from that? Yeah, how? Get a yellow light bulb. Aim it at the monitor. Yellow neutralizes blue. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I always tell people, get those, 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 oh, got to come back to the talk. Okay. We're, we've got a three-minute break. We'll be right back. Folks, 
We're living in a world the likes of which we've never perceived any clearer than we do now. The plan for global governance has been in the works for generations and would have likely been achieved by now, but for the fact that the globalists left open their Achilles heel. With all their tools, Federal Reserve System, fiat currency, no child left behind, and then common core education introduced to our schools to dumb us down, vaccines, pharmaceuticals to lobotomize us, GMO foods, insertion of compromised or bought and paid for politicians, judges, mainstream media propaganda, all pieced together like a puzzle designed to ultimately bring the world under submission. But with all their strategy, they forgot one thing, knowledge. And knowledge is power. With knowledge, their bombardment is nullified. Folks, with that, as brilliant and knowledgeable as you've become, among the wisest audience of any radio audience in the world, and you are, I want you to take a moment to reflect and ask yourself, how much of that knowledge did I obtain from Republic Broadcasting Network? How high has my consciousness been raised since I've been a listener? How fast am I now able to discriminate truth from fake news by being a Republic Broadcasting listener? How clear am I now able to see the world since I've been listening to RBN? Ask yourselves those questions, folks. Then ask yourself, what is that knowledge worth to me? Like my morning coffee, how would I survive without it? A voice of truth and a sea of lies. Do we not all need to make sure it survives? Like public broadcasting, we are now finding we can only survive with listener support. Censorship, advertisers being attacked, truth itself being attacked. It's the only way through this. We at Republic Broadcasting humbly ask you to become a supporter. Look at your budget and make a determination of what Republic Broadcasting is worth to you and what you can afford on a monthly basis. Go to republicbroadcasting.org and pledge 20, 30, 40, 50, if possible, 100 a month or more if it's affordable. Click the Donate button and become a regular monthly donor. Assure both us and yourself that Republic Broadcasting Truth will continue to flow like that morning coffee. The network thanks you. Without the right accessories, any guy can be off the mark. Whether you've invested thousands in your arsenal or you own a single trusted firearm, a visit to AROutfitting.com is in order. It's one of the finest online selections of tactical optics and AR parts and add-ons, like EOTech, quick target acquisition with no peripheral loss. Browse the full range of Nikon scopes and binoculars. AROutfitting.com can illuminate your world with streamlight gun-mounted lights from keychain to large handhelds up to 1,100 lumens. Find some stability with Battenfield Tactical Bipods. AirOutfitting.com has CMMG gun parts, barrels, assemblies, handguards, part kits, and more. Plus magful clips and magazines. I know I've got you excited, so take a breath. Head to AirOutfitting.com. The site's super easy to navigate and features a ton of technical info, including links to manuals. We also welcome vendor and manufacturer inquiries. Remember, if you don't see it, we can get it at AirOutfitting.com. Welcome back. Our guest is Tony Pantelleresco, and his websites are augmentenforce.50webs.com, tonypantelleresco.info, and he has a YouTube channel, and that is herbs plus beadworks slash videos. Uh, his last name is spelled P-A-N-T-A-L-L-E-R-E-S-C-O. You were talking about the yellow light bulb. What about glasses that that would also work the same way that would reflect the blue light? Again, I, we haven't really looked into it a, a, a lot. I haven't had a chance to really get into that. Somebody I was talking to earlier, uh, another uh, colleague, uh, he found something on it, uh, so far one thing indicating that it can and should help. Uh, again, I like to be a little bit more thorough. I don't like to just jump on the first thing that I see. You know, I like to make sure that we have some something with – I like something with a little bit more substance. You know, I, I hate to be the kind of guy that, you know, like some of these marketeers that are selling things like C60 that are selling crap, which is which actually enhances the blue beam effect because of a, the carbon uh, molecule that, it, that attaches to the brain. You know, they, they have, it's, it was funny, they, they actually called me on, or attacked me on my uh, personage, because I came out against their product. And <clears throat> the funny thing was, the guy made a comment saying that I, I, my face was hidden and that nobody knows who, who or what I look like. I'm thinking to myself, holy cow, I'm in 189 countries, I got 150 some odd videos. You know, my picture's planted all over the Internet. How can you not miss me? <laughs> but anyway, 
But anyway, this is another one of those things. But anyway, when you're dealing with nanotechnology, okay, and this is where you have to start thinking and looking at the threads of what we're dealing with today because we have to start um, connecting the dots. You're not going to find an actual article that's going to tell you, hey, the global regime, the protocols of Zion, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the papacy, the monarchies, the government agencies throughout the world, the CIA, the you know Templars, whatnot, are out to kill mankind. You're not going to see that. <laughs> you know, if you're going to look for a document stating that this is happening, you're, you know, good luck on that one. You're going to have to start to sit there and do a little detective work, investigative work, to see and connect the dots. When you're looking at nanotechnology, or I should call it today more nanogenetics, and I'm going to explain that one to you too because this is really alarming. What's going on? When we're talking about nanogenetics, we're integrating nanotechnology with um, life's biology, if that's a good way of putting it, life's biology, or creation's biology. You're creating an anomalous effect where now you have turned that DNA or, that, or the uh, chromosomes or the genetics into a transceiver, which can now receive and send messages back and forth. And when you have a material that is a superconductor that can actually transfer heat 10,000 times or can, can conduct energy without any resistance whatsoever, or if you contort it a little bit, you create a semiconductive material and you plant that into the brain, you have now created a tether that now allows access to and fro. fro. So when you're putting these, when you're talking about the blue beam, you know, because years ago they were talking about a blue beam project where a big blue beam would hit the sky and we would see whatever they want us, wanted us to see. Well, mm. that would require a heck of a lot of power. But it's a lot easier to hit you with blue beams, which are everyday contrivances, light bulbs, cell phones, iPads, computers. You know, you walk into a store and all of a sudden... Uh, I'll ask you this question. Have you ever walked into a store and you step into the store and the moment you step in the store, for one split second, you feel like you've been disengaged or you've been separated from yourself or you, or you go into a state of sort of a blank or disconnect and then you come right back. That's you being hit with a frequency the moment you walk into the door. That's what's going on. Wow. Now, if you're wearing reflective lenses and you're wearing a, a, a Faraday ha a headpiece, that we showed you how to do on YouTube, you may find what you might feel is this tapping noise, tapping feeling on your head. It's trying to access you, and it can't. So, But that's part of this blue beam project. You walk into a store, you're getting hit with these beams. They're trying to, again, uh, uh, manipulate your brain. And you start walking through the store. Now, you went in there for one thing. Let's say you went in there for, you know, paint or some kind of craft or whatever, a cardboard. And you walk out with 99 things. That's why. That's why, because again, you've been programmed and you've been manipulated to do this. So when we're talking the Blue Beam Project, that's already here. Wow, that's already here. I'm not a shopper. I don't, I don't do those shopping things. Okay, <laughs> we'll be right back. You are tuned in to the Republic Broadcasting Network. Visit our website by going to republicbroadcasting.org. Do you know there is an ongoing war right here in America? Are you aware that U.S. citizens have been classified as enemies of the state since 1933? Have you recognized that our entire government is really a vast network of interlocking corporations engaged in commerce? Look up Title 28, Section 3002. Tune in to In Defense of Humanity on Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Central Time. Find out what's really going on. And learn how to protect yourself and your family as flesh and blood men and women living in a corporate reality.
Do you or someone you know suffer from chest pain, blood pressure, cholesterol, or irregular heartbeat? Are you looking for a more natural solution to overcome these health challenges? You hear the ads all the time. If this stuff's so good, why doesn't my doctor prescribe it? That's easy. Doctors are not trained in natural medicine. Extendivite Heart Tonic does want you to be as healthy as you can be. And it really works. Take Extendivite for six months and your doctor will say, I don't know what you're doing, but don't stop. It's working for you. Get the dependability of Extendivite. Just see how you feel in six months. A two-month supply of either capsules or liquid is only $69.95 plus shipping and handling. Call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendovite. Homeowners, are you in foreclosure expecting to be served with a foreclosure lawsuit or suspect your lender has coerced you into an illegal mortgage transaction? A huge number of mortgages made in the last 10 years have legal issues and are possibly defective. State laws and the U.S. Supreme Court have upheld that defective mortgage documents are grounds for foreclosure defense and for counterclaims in favor of the homeowner. If your mortgage has been sold or assigned since closing the loan, it may be defective and you may be paying the wrong party and the lender may not have standing or the right to foreclose or collect payments under the law. If you would like to know if your mortgage is legal or not or know if you are paying the right party, we can help. Our initial consultations are free of charge. We are not attorneys. We are legal researchers and work closely with experienced lawyers who know how to help you find the evidence to help you keep your home. Call toll-free 1-855-2-KEEP-IT. That's 1-855-THE NUMBER 2 keep it today Corporate media dominates the American opinion. Finding independent voices that counter this avalanche is becoming increasingly difficult. With the endless corruption running rampant throughout our government, independent voices are needed more than ever to battle the offensive against our freedoms and liberties. As a listener of RBN, no one understands this concept better than you. Now it's up to you to do your part. The time has come for you to take action and begin broadcasting the truth to hundreds or thousands of people every month. Sound impossible? Quite the contrary. With pointed slogans from LibertyStickers.com, you can reach countless sleeping Americans unaware that they live in a real-life wonderland. LibertyStickers.com has a huge inventory of political bumper stickers and messages that reflect the truth about our government, our politicians, and the future of America. With so many in stock, there's one perfect for you. Visit us today at LibertyStickers.com. Again, that's LibertyStickers.com. Do your part. Your voice is important. Let it be heard. All righty, welcome back. Welcome back. This is Deanna, and our guest is Tony Pantelleresco. His websites are augmentandforce.50webs.com, tonypantelleresco.info, and he does have a YouTube channel. He has made so many YouTube videos. It, it is really amazing. Um, and, and Tony is kind of amazing. Uh, I always learn so much from him. Now, you said uh, that when you go, go shopping, which I, I rarely do, I did go to the mall with my daughter a couple of weeks ago, and I, uh, she went into a couple of stores, and I stayed out, and it was an open, open-air mall. I really like to watch the people uh, rather than shop, and just watch them. And it was amazing to me. How many young women were there with strollers, with children, and these strollers were just packed full of bags. It was just, it was just kind of an amazing thing. And it, it um, led me to think, too, that uh, it used to be, well, they probably still do it, that the movie producers uh, during intermission or during the movie would put, um, put just minute, just seconds, second um, uh, demonstrations so the, on the screen so or we'll messages them, yeah. Yeah, yes yeah. on the screen saying oh you're thirsty oh popcorn which sure tastes good now and it was subliminal as you say and people would think oh we, we got to go out and get some popcorn or whatever and that's what they're doing only the technology has changed yeah it basically it's called voice to head technology <clears throat> um 
There's another program called Lily. Another one, uh, the latest one that DARPA is working on is called N-3. Uh, you know, when you follow the connection with nano and this uh, technology, the voice-to-head, the only way a voice-to-head technology can work is because it has to have some access point to you. In other words, I have to have something inside of you for it to uh, connect. When they dumped iron along the west coast of the United States, they did it for a reason. Because when you hit water with frequencies and waves, water has a tendency to disperse a wave. Uh, If you had, let's say, uh, five-gallon containers of water surrounding your bedroom, and let's say on top of your room, any frequency that would come in would be dispersed because of the water. The water would disperse it. But add an iron content or any other content where it can actually oh. access, now it goes right to the water oh. and, and can't be dispersed. So the same thing applies to us. We are, what, 57% water, you know, and our fats hold water. And when you're looking at, uh, oh. some, there was something I was looking at a couple weeks ago, Oh, 5G disrupts the water molecules in our body, allowing the cells to let go of the water, literally, and cause a, a cooking of the cells or cooking of the DNA. Oh, but my gosh. When you look at nano techno- nanogenetics, let's just, again, nanogenetics, when you look at nano, it has never been tested, period. They released that on the market within two years, was a two to five years, it was a two trillion dollar a year industry. The stuff is all over in our environment. It's all over everywhere. We're being dumped on from the from the sky with it. They're spraying it in the fields in our food supply. They're putting smart dust and smart sensors in the food, which are again on a nano scale, which don't get turned off, which don't get filtered, which get caught up in your colon, and shut down or or redirect your DNA in your digestive system. You've got these part- particle matters throughout your cells, through your body, your brain, your tissues, your organs. So any frequency you get hit with, you know, when you hear people saying that they're hearing the voice of God, and I had a woman tell me this. She thought she heard God talk to her about moving to a location, and which she did. She sold everything she had, and she took off. But when wow. she got there, she got assaulted left, right, and center by whatever program the government or the military was putting out there. And... That's when I started looking at some of these programs that were out there. The first one I saw was with Jesse Ventura when he was doing his show. He had a guy that had that had him block his ears, and he fired a beam into his head, and he could hear the beam inside. And so a lot of times when people are saying they have tinnitus, they don't have tinnitus. What they're having is the frequency that's registering in the brain, and it seems like it's coming out the auditory, but it's not. It's it's being directly inserted into the brain area. So when you're having something like a carbon nanoparticle inside the body, it is the most conductive material on the planet. It surpasses gold, it surpasses (laughs) copper, it surpasses silver, it surpasses any material on the planet. You can make it to be extremely uh, flexible, pliable, or you can make it to be... uh, uh, so solid that a steel bullet won't penetrate it. You know, you can make it turn it into a body armor. Uh, it is, it, and they're using it in everything. And a lot of stuff that we're having up up above those chemtrails are basically feeding on the carbon that's up there, the methane. And they're, this is one of the reasons why they they continue to replicate and assemble because they've got the raw material in the building block up there to do it with. So when you're consuming high levels of sugar process or even the fruit sugars again minimize those fruit sugars to have an extremely high fiber content or a high mineral content or uh, and don't eat the outside skin whatsoever they are about 80 to 90 percent of the metals that you're going to see are on the skin and then when you consume that that nano now has found a new home and it's a bugger to get out <sighs> so when we're talking nanogenetics I've said this on my show and other shows that today's children that are being born, I have no idea what we're producing. Today I get a call from out west where a grandparent is, was frantic with me about the grandchild she has who's got these neobla- uh, was it neoblastomas. Yeah, hold on a second. 
Um, sorry, that's a light one. Some form, of, it's a blasto, neoblastoma. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, what it is is lesions and tumors that are growing inside the bone and the tissue. <sighs> Now, did you get did you get a chance to see the article that was written by the two two Italian scientists where they found nano contamination in the vaccines? Well, it wouldn't surprise me. Absolutely. It, that made that made the headlines. That actually made the headlines. And the, and what he did even, which I could validate because I've seen it with my own uh, situation with the nano, that he says when nanoparticles uh, are uh, exposed to the human genome or to our to our phys- physiology, it creates anomalous proteins to uh, to uh, develop because it's altered the DNA. So then, what happens? The proteins are being structured based on the programming that the DNA has, and this program has been altered by these nanoparticles. All this autism, all these mental disorders, all these problems that we're having with children with getting the vaccines is all tied to either the nano delivery method or these nano contaminants. So. Think about that one for a second. You have a parent. This is what we're going to talk about the DNA exchange. Now, this is your favorite topic. So, and I know this. But when you have a, <laughs> when you have a man and a woman integrating themselves and exchanging DNA, his seed now is carrying nano particulates loaded. Her egg is loaded with nano particulates. The uterine lining is also loaded uh-huh. with nanoparticulates. Now the, the two become one, and now we have this inter, inter, integration going on, and every time the cells split, the nano also integrates with those cells. So now what are we producing? I do not know. I have a three-year-old nephew. That if you give him an iPad or a phone, he knows how to operate it because that phone is interfacing or integrate, uh, uh, communicating with that nano in his system. Uh. So, when, so what are we producing today? I do not know. But don't be surprised if you have a child today, in today's time, and they start having things like a neoblastoma or neoblasias, okay, because this will be coming from that situation. And whatever you do, do not vaccinate your children. I get people tell, doing this to me all the time, and it drives me up the wall, Rangi. They tell me, well, you know, if I don't get my kid vaccinated, I can't send them to school. Okay, just keep them at home. They're not learning anything in this educational system anyway, number one. Number two, then they get the kid vaccinated and ask me if I can take this stuff out of their child. They don't recognize or realize that now it's not that you put a shot into a child that's just floating around, bouncing all over the place. It's in the DNA. It's in the genetic code now. And you're asking me to go and strip that out. It can be done, but at what cost? I don't know because the children at this stage of life need to take stuff in, not strip out. So it's one of those you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So... When you get into the, the condition like the neoplasia, neoblastomas, you have no choice but to go that route. But what may come of that may not be what you think. You know? So it, do yourselves a favor and, don't get, and, and, as, and save me a headache. <clears throat> say no. Just say no. You know, why would you put genetic material into a child if you're going to take if you're going to give your child the vaccine and you're dead on giving the child a vaccine because you want to send them to the school system or whatever the excuse is take the shot first go for it you get the vaccine you take it they'll love it that's more money they've made you get the vaccine and then you can feel your dna come unglued <laughs> you know and then after you go through a, a series of you know feeling and wishing you were dead and crying to God to take your life because you are you know you were that dumb to do something just stupid, then you can think what then you can think <laughs> what is that doing to this child who has no immune right. system, no defense mechanism, not a, a blood brain barrier hasn't developed yet. Child right. has just been brought into this life and is re- and there's 45 needles waiting for him to be to stick into him for, within the first two days of his existence. So. Uh. Save your cells, your, save your bloodline, save your DNA. Why are you capitulating to this? I have no idea. You know, I have no idea. 
it uh, this astounds me to no end. You can read all the information, and then they says, "Well, your kids can't go to school." Well, if enough of you pull your kids out of the school system, guess what? The school system will start to collapse. Maybe they might amend the laws and say, "Well, here's your exemption. Your kids can come back again." You never uh, know. You know, I I I uh, I get um, when I hear stuff like that. <clears throat> It basically tells me how brain damaged people are with this. You know, right. nobody, nobody. Someone sent me an email today. Says, "Well, I'm looking for silicon. You're the only guy saying silicon is no good." And blah blah blah. And then I says, "Well, did you ever think first and foremost, maybe go on my website first, look at the information there, and then from there you can ex- you can extrapolate whatever terms you want to use to expand your your research." I mean, it's already already put there. Go right. read it. Go read it. You know. Right. Uh, we're we're looking at things today in in realms and reality we have never seen before, and the health issues that we're dealing with, it's I, with the research I have done, and with Brian and collaborating with Brian three nine six, and also with Bye Bye Blue Sky with uh, Susan Marr, the research that we've done or we've reported on i can almost tell you unequivocally that almost every health condition health disease we have today is tied in some form some way somehow to nanogenetics or nanobiology or synthetic biology without question they started this crap with us back in uh, in the 1950s that generation that was born right this they this was the initial prototype and every health condition that we it has nothing to do with being acidic has nothing to do with being alkaline has nothing to do with you know uh, a parasite or a virus or whatever the reason why you have a parasite and the reason why you have a virus and the reason why you have bacterial infections is because you have these particulates inside your body that are compromising you and and are expanding their network inside of you causing your immune system to become depleted, causing yourself to become depleted. And as a result, things start to change. Your genetic code doesn't work like it's supposed to. Your DNA is not activating the immune system because it's already being hyperactivated toward uh, something else. So as a result, it's already compromised and pushed to its limits. So anything that can come along will nail you. You ever watch uh, any sci-fi? No. Okay, see, you've got to bring you into the sci-fi I'm just world. not a sci-fi person. <laughs> I, I just... Um... Well, I'm a sci-fi person, and I'm always looking into sci-fi stuff, because a lot of times they, they basically show you, they are showing you, you know, it's amazing. It's right there. If you know what you're looking for, it's right there, and they're showing... Like and the Terminator denser. guy? Terminator or X-Men. See, the X-Men, Avengers, Justice League, Superman, Batman, these are the super soldier programs that they're, they're basically showing you. Okay. But... Uh, the one program, I, I forget what it was called, um, it was an X-Men program, and it was about Wolverine. And, and Wolverine had this super healing factor where no matter what you did to him, he'd heal almost immediately. But what happened was they hijacked his healing factor by putting a robot, in, a nanobot, inside that was constantly attacking his heart. So while his heart was, while his immune system was deflective at fighting this nanobot that was attacking his heart, when he got hurt... He didn't heal like he was doing. Well, this is this basically was exemplifying to a T is what's going on with us, because we're being heavily loaded with this nano material, nanobiology, nanogenetics. It it has taken our immune, it's deflecting our immune system away from uh, our normal bodily activity, and it's hyper accelerating the the immune system. So what winds up happening is you get you're compromised. So when something else comes along, it, it takes it takes you out or right. brings you down further because your system's already in overload trying to defend against something more prevalent. And again, we're talking DNA overwrite. Mm. Wow. So this is where it's at. this is why I say the biggest thing we have today to keep healthy, not being alkaline, not being acidic, not being not eating this For diet, your blood uh, type. Yeah, all that horse hockey. It's protect right. your DNA. Work at doing things that are going to protect your DNA, your mitochondria, your ATP production, your your genetic code. These okay. are the things. How what do we do? do? What do we do to do that? What do you do to do that? The first yeah. thing you're going to do is you're going to detox these nanobots out of your system. Whether you're using a triangle, bucket, bath, 
uh, eating foods that are high in sulfur and phosphorus, and then reloading, reloading the minerals that you're supposed to have, like copper, and high doses of copper. All this crap about copper is going to be this and that and blah, blah. I've been taking three, 30 times the amount of copper that I'm supposed to be taking. I've been doing it for three and a half years, and I'm still waiting for the side effect. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's been a lot of horse hockey. They're telling you you can't combine you zinc with have copper. Too much copper. Yeah, you're gonna have too much. A lot of horse hockey. Uh, wow. Well. Okay, we'll be right back in three minutes. Did you know that neither the American Medical Association nor the American Bar Association were established to benefit the American people? Have you recognized that in our country, health care has little to do with health and that our court system has nothing to do with justice? The priests of both medicine and law have been incentivized to implement a dark agenda on behalf of the Bilderbergers and their ilk. To protect ourselves and our progeny, we need to take a much closer look at how these two giant industries really work. Join me, Al Whitney, on In Defense of Humanity, Saturdays at 7 p.m. Central, as we expose the matrix and learn how not to consent to our own destruction. We are the American Freedom Party. This is the most urgent time in the history of Western civilization. In the year 1900, white people of European descent comprised 35% of the world population. Today it is less than 9% and falling fast. Europe is being overrun with Middle Eastern immigrants, and America's founding stock is rapidly being replaced with third world peoples from around the globe. For the last 50 years, every influential institution in this nation, our schools and universities, our media, our churches and our employers, have promoted policies and principles that teach whites to be ashamed of their great heritage and birthright. We, who in the 1950s, the 1960s, and 1970s were the world's dominant force, are now so afraid of being called racist that we were quailing towards irrelevance and extinction. Join the American Freedom Party today. Reach us at theamericanfreedomparty.us or call us at 701-317-5317. Paid for by the American Freedom Party. Hi, folks. CBD is the home run hitter for health right now. Why, you ask? Because of what it does for the body. Unfortunately, I can't tell you all about the benefit. You know, there's reasons. Do your due diligence and log on to ancientlifeoil.com. That's ancientlifeoil.com. Ancient Life Oil uses organic ingredients and is blended in coconut oil for some of the best benefits. Legal in 50 states and non-psychoactive. Log on to ancientlifeoil.com. That's ancientlifeoil.com. Do you worry a lot whether you're a college student, busy professional, parent, or grandparent? Ongoing stress and elevated levels of the stress hormone cortisol can rob your memory, your health, and your future. Now you can combat the effects of stress and anxiety while improving your memory and recall at the same time with the dietary supplement Calm and Clever. Studies show that the ingredients in Calm and Clever reduce cortisol by as much as 30% in one to two weeks. Call 1-800-758-8746 or calmandclever.com. All righty, welcome back. This is Deanna. <clears throat> and uh, we have Tony Pantelaresco on our program. And I will post his websites into the chat room. And I invite you to visit the chat room, which is spengola.chattango.com. Um, and you were talking about uh, the fact that you take copper and that... Um, the first thing that people need to do to get these nano genetic genetics out of our systems is to detox them and then take the minerals that we need. And you suggested the bucket, which I have a bucket. Um, what else? 
Hey, we need, we need specific minerals because the glyphosate disarmed us from these minerals and the healthy bacteria. So you're going to need copper, you're going to need zinc, and you can take them together. That's another one of these things. If you take this and that, they'll neutralize each other. Horse hockey. The body has mechanisms inside that will regulate that, and so you can get that. And I've been doing that for years, too, and, I'm, <laughs> and, I've, and I've seen <clears throat> seen lots of benefit with it, not contrary. Uh, what's going on here? Hold on. Um in regard to, uh, you also are going to need to take um, boron or borax because that you re- re- require to restructure or reconstruct your skeletal system because your skeletal system has been severely damaged. Uh, in regard to, you know, what the nano has to break it broken down for you with the biofilm. You're also going to need manganese and zinc. Zinc and manganese re- regenerate the SOD levels the mitochondria, zinc and copper, regenerate the cellular levels, the eye, ocular, excuse me, the liver and the brain and skin. These are going to be required. You're also going to need your potassium, your sodium, and the number one mineral I think you you should all have them or take them in this format are all chlorides, copper chloride, zinc chloride, uh, magnesium chloride, potassium chloride, calcium chloride. These are salts which get into the cells which can help flush this nano out of the cells. What winds up happening with these nanoparticles, it's not like you get one or two in a cell. You'll get thousands of them in a the cell, which causes high level of oxidative stress, breaking down the cell, and then the cells utilize as building block material, as ligand, for the nanoparticles to construct their little networks inside the system. The uh, <clears throat> proteins that you're going to need would be any, any clean whey or egg protein, Read your labels on that. Uh, in the United States, the Now brand has a good egg protein, which is clean. Uh, Bob Mills is another one that comes from Canada. You also have in the United States. It's a whey concentrate. That one's clean. It doesn't have any crap in it. Um, uh, you also have um, those are two I found. You can probably find other ones, but these are the more reasonably priced whey proteins that you can find. If you can find them online, by all means, do so. You may want to incorporate colostrum. You may want to incorporate creatine. Oh, colostrum. Okay. For, uh, but do your research on that one because a lot of stuff that's being sold in the health food stores today is only 10% colostrum and 90% milk, and that's stuff coming from New Zealand. So oh. do, your, do your research on it because I, I found one here in Canada that's 98.6% colostrum and 1.6% saponin. So I and that's the one I'm using because I found oh. it. And I, and I didn't find it in the health food store. You have to find it elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, I did buy some colostrum. I I bought it. Um, well, we'll talk about it uh, on the other side of the hour. We'll be right back. Okay. media dominates the American opinion. Finding independent voices that counter this avalanche is becoming increasingly difficult. With the endless corruption running rampant throughout our government, independent voices are needed more than ever to battle the offensive against our freedoms and liberties. As a listener of RBN, no one understands this concept better than you. Now it's up to you to do your part. The time has come for you to take action and begin broadcasting the truth to hundreds or thousands of people every month. Sound impossible? Quite the contrary. With pointed slogans from LibertyStickers.com, you can reach countless sleeping Americans unaware that they live in a real-life wonderland. LibertyStickers.com has a huge inventory of political bumper stickers and messages that reflect the truth about our government, our politicians, and the future of America. With so many in stock, there's one perfect for you. Visit us today at LibertyStickers.com. Again, that's LibertyStickers.com. Do your part. Your voice is important. Let it be heard. 
listening to Republic Broadcasting Network because you can handle the truth. Truth, truth, truth.